A nice meal in this joint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we surely they have come to the wrong place. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm going to be able to make it through this program, all right? But I've had a real bad cold. And <laughs> right. And, I, so and, a, and chest a serious cold. case of impetigo. <laughs> <laughs> I've been coughing and carrying on. Uh -huh. I may go into one of these later on. He's had the respiratory virus flu. It's been terrible. Mm -hmm. It really has. Yes, and we have all been so concerned about it. Well, isn't this just real neat? Isn't it? Uh -huh. Are these real she... eggs? I wonder. I don't, oh, I don't she has lined this with fake <laughs> eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we, we're so glad to have uh, Doris and Harold Ford back with us Sitting today. behind the cameras. We're especially glad to have Harold back. <laughs> he just went in the hospital and had a triple bypass. Ooh. Just, what, two weeks ago? For a quadruple. Don't quadruple. look at me. I didn't do anything. Less, and he, he, he's back just doing fabulous. <laughs> well, let's, Doris, we missed you. Nobody set the table while you were gone. It was the biggest mess around Place, here. Place just was real trashy. We're going to read some letters? Yeah, let's we got some letters to read? Dear guys, I try to catch y'all when I can on AETN. What's that? Oh, Arkansas Educational Television Network. Oh, no, don't. Channel 2 from Conway, questions. Arkansas. Conway. I bet you never hear from folks this far away. Well, sure we do. You are so silly, but enjoyable. <laughs> The men who cook drive me nuts. That's what happened to my second marriage. <laughs> well, this person from Arkansas says if you have uh, any uh, inexpensive, uncomplicated recipes for Italian meatballs and spaghetti, well, there's no such thing as expensive Italian meatballs and spaghetti anyway, I'd sure appreciate having it. Ragu just doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's from a person from Springdale, Arkansas. Well, this is Arkansas Day because this is from Little Rock, and this person just sent in a little card that says, You are nuts and I love you. And that's from June Cobb in Little Rock. Well, June, you're pretty wacky too. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hear you want to get a startling close up of this. There it is. There it is. Well, thank you, June, so much, and I'm glad to know that you love us. Oh, I'm sure glad I caught this one. Down here at the bottom of this long letter, it says, Your happy viewer and a special hello to the very good-looking brown-haired man. Well, I... Well, thanks, Larry. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch your name again um, because the introduction to your show had already been shown when I tuned in to you all. Tracy from Richmond, Virginia. Well, Tracy, my name is Laban, and I'm so glad <laughs> <laughs> that you have enjoyed casting your eyes up upon me and the asparagus upon Larry. If you all uh, want to know, hit the low down mean one to the right is Laban. Hi guys, I just want you to know how much I enjoy your show. I get it on KFT. Well, there's another one. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Glad to see somebody as messy as I am in the kitchen. Alan Barosh of Bentonville, Arkansas. Boy, people down in Arkansas, these guys down there are going to get a big box of letters. Whew. Oh, I know. Here's we got time for one more. Yeah, for, this is from Antoine, Arkansas. <laughs> Antoine. I'm not kidding you. Oh, come and on. And it says, P.S., uh, here in Antoine, we got two and a half inches of snow. No. Sure is pretty. If you know what everyone, if you know anyone wants to move to Arkansas, Antoine's a place. There's two colleges near here. Uh, the only diamond mine in North America nearby. Also wild game to kill during the seasons like the following. Deer, rabbit, squirrel, also two lakes nearby for catfish, rainbow trouts, bass, trees all around, and mountains nearby. Well, thank you so much. That's from Wanda uh, Schweiger in Antoine, Arkansas, and she must be with the Chamber of Commerce. I was just getting ready to say, I believe she must work for the Chamber down there. Let's go over here. And I'm not talking the orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a fine 
chicken dish called chicken piccata. What does piccata mean, Johnson? You know all these well, strange and well, foreign... Well, thank you for asking, Larry. Oh, that for means heaven's sake. piquant, sharp, tangy. That's what it means. Oh, okay. Well, it's tangy. It, and it is just that. I fixed it last night and it was real tangy. Oh. No, it was real good. I got a I got some hot water over here, about a cup of hot water heating up, mm -hmm. and into that I'm going to put one of these things. I don't know whether you've ever seen one of these things or not, and I'm going to explain what this is for anybody that doesn't know, if you want to see this That's one. That's one of those little craft caramels all around. No, the but the boys have been selling these in the parking lot out here at the station. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're bouillon cubes. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to put a chicken bouillon cube in that hot water, and we're going to dissolve it. Well, I don't know whether you want to stand around and watch it dissolve or not, but there it is if you mm -hmm. want to. And on, in the other pan, I'm heating up some margarine, just a little bit of margarine. And the first thing i got to do, and I'm going to get started on this mess so that Labing can start his recipe, is we have to take four pieces of boneless chicken breast fillets. That means they don't have any bone in them. And we're going to pound those suckers until they're flat as pancakes. But I have to go back here and wash the chicken because the chicken is still fresh in its little container. Right. So, and we know if you ever watched that show, 60 Minutes, you saw right. what these it chickens get dragged through. It may have some kind through. of chicken stuff on it. It still. may just, <laughs> so we have to go and wash this stuff off very carefully. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, well, thank you, Larry. <laughs> now, <laughs> I have got an oven proof casserole and I'm putting a half of a tablespoon of butter in it and I'm going to butter the casserole with it using my fingers. Well, I mean, that's, the Lord gave us fingers to use to pick up stuff. Oh, I can tell on, we got a squeamish guys. group today. A bunch of wimps around here, scared of a little margarine. Well, I've seen the time with, never mind. No, for heaven's well, sake. Well, you know what, well, never mind. I don't want to. Oh, police. Well, now, where is Police, I, where? What do where, we do? It where's was, the paper it towel? Was, it was bullion cubes. That's what it was. It wasn't <laughs> anything else. I've lost the paper towels. I've got to wipe my the hands paper off. Towel. He's starting to lose things already in the show. And now I'm going to peel two potatoes, and since everybody I knows how to, to do that. all of that all. Well, what's wrong? I put a little more in there. I was expecting uh -oh. it to boil down, and it didn't. Is Did this thing on? on? I need it on real hot. Yeah. All right. There you go. What? There you yeah, went. That's there it. it was. There it is. Okay. Should I show these people how I prefer to pound the dickens out of this chicken? If you want to, you go right ahead. You uh, if you get it in your mind you want to pound the dickens out of a chicken, here's how you do it. I found that if you don't want to squish it and get it all over everything, take some real heavy foil, the kind that you, you put on your outside grill and put it inside there and then take the, where is it, take the flat side of your mallet in this case because we don't need to, we don't need to pulverize it, we just need to, to flatten it and this sort of keeps the chicken from flying in your camera lens. <laughs> well, uh, where did you get that high class pounder? I say, where did you get that high-class pounder? See, isn't that nice? That's all real flat, just like it should ought to be. I've had it for years. I don't know whether I bought it myself and said, gee, that would be a great thing to have. I think that is highly dangerous for you, to, knowing your, uh, your, your temper and your way with objects. I'm, I'd be scared to be around you at yeah, home. Yeah, I've, I've chased a couple of people around with it. Now, you see, that's real nice. It's just real pretty. You've got to flatten them out because what's going to happen after you do what you do to them and put them on there is they're going to shrink back up again. <laughs> they get just real fat and explode, I think. I don't know what would happen to them. So I got, uh, actually I got five of them. The recipe calls for four of them. I'm just going to use the whole thing. That's all I'm going to do for a while. And I'm going to have a good time doing it. I wish there were some way to do this without making so much noise, but oh, but there isn't. Well, perhaps I should have done it before I came in here. No, no, it's good. It gets well, rid of a, all the aggression in your body. And it's amazing how this stuff holds up. It, it doesn't go through. Yeah, it's real thin. You could read a newspaper through that. It'd be a pretty dumb thing to do, but you could. That's two. Well, I'm still peeling this potato here. 
peeling and pounding. <laughs> That's what we're doing down here today. Once we get past this, it'll get pretty exciting. Well, I don't know. I think it's kind of exciting now. I'm getting a little more aggressive with this all the time, you'll notice. Now, you can discard your potato peels. You will not have to reserve them for another purpose if you can get them up off your counter. Oops. I accidentally used the wrong side of the mallet after I'd warned everybody. You know, this old house makes a lot less noise than this show does. Mm hmm. Sometimes. Well, I think I need well, to. Well, now, while that you're continuing more. to do that, I'm going to slice these potatoes. I hope I can avoid slicing my hand with this. Well, aren't you something? Well, you know, I just use an ordinary old knife. I never thought of doing that. I promise you, that's it. I promise you, I will not do that again. That's you know, all. Bly, I figured that since the manufacturer has put this particular side on this grater, that I might as well go on and, and use it. Okay, let me show you what I got to do now. Do you have a little milk over there? I need to borrow a little milk from you. Yes. What we do is we take a little dish like so, and we put one egg in there, and we mix that egg up with just a little bit of milk. I was just certain that Johnson would have some milk with him today, or I'd been in trouble. Just a little bit, a couple of tablespoons full. And uh, mix that up real good. Now here's what we're going to do. I need to turn this up real high because at this point we want to get this pretty hot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dredge the chicken through here like so and then through some bread crumbs standing by over here. This by the way is just wonderful, it really is and then put it in your margarine to fry, and you're gonna brown it on both sides once you've done that. Guys are getting a little better about sticking our fingers and stuff. They're not moaning and groaning with me sticking my hand an egg today like they were there for a while with you earlier. I think they're getting over it. Yes, their squishinesses. Just arrange those in there. I don't know whether I got room for all these. If I don't, I'll just take the extra one home. Either that or I'll throw it back oh, to I the engineers. <laughs> Love that raw meat back there. All right. This is a beautiful presentation. I discovered yesterday evening. Just beautiful. And in a couple of minutes, now that I've got that started frying, I'm going to mix up a few other things. And I'll show you all about that in just a minute. Laban? All right. Well now, here's my buttered casserole, and here are my two potatoes. I've got about a cup and a half of potatoes here, thinly sliced, and I'm going to put a, a layer of these potatoes in the bottom. And on top of that, I'm going to sprinkle a little salt, just a, a, a tad of salt, and a little bit of uh, pepper. Can I, can I borrow that salt and pepper? Uh, <laughs> In a nonce, yeah. In a what? It's in a nonce, as soon as I get through with it. In now a, I'm going nonce. to put a layer of, oh no, sealed for your protection. I swear there is no end to the misery. I forgot to salt and pepper my, my chicken after I put it in there. Thank heavens Laban brings these things along. I don't know what I'd do without it. I know, I asked him for it uh -huh. when I got finished, but I'm going to use it anyway because <sighs> it's taking him so long to get that open. Ooh. Anyway, now I'm going to put in a layer of cottage cheese on top of these potatoes and diddle it around in there a little bit. And now I'm going to put another layer of potatoes. 
And you, now the recipe that, that we're going to offer you with this uh, dish today calls for a cup of potatoes and a cup of, uh, of cottage cheese, but I think that you can vary the proportions as you need to to suit yourself. And pull all this around in here just a little, little bit. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know whether this is going to be any good or not. I didn't uh, test this recipe too far in advance. So. I'm always a little suspicious of cottage cheese dishes. Well, I know. You never know what's going to happen because it just doesn't seem right. They're supposed to go in a pair of half. <laughs> cottage cheese is. Everybody knows that. And, and every fool knows that. And you don't know whether or not it's going to actually work when you bake with it. But Ooh, we're going to find this out. This is so pretty. I'm just about to... Well, just get thrilled now, about it. Here's all of this, the rest of this cottage cheese is down in there. And we're going to salt just a little bit and pepper it some more. Yesterday, I turned one of these chickens over in this margarine and it went splat. <laughs> and it hit 77 different things in my kitchen. Mm. I was cleaning for weeks. I'm going to take Well, oh, while you're ahead. doing that, I just want to add uh, about a half a cup of milk poured over the top of this. And that's all I have to have, and I'm going to bake it. Okay, we're going to turn our chicken over now. Now this stuff should be nice and brown on the side. It is. In fact, it's getting a little more than just a little brown on the side. All gone near burned, that one. You have to be kind of careful. I've got to heat up on this thing right now because everything I do from here on is going to is going to require some hot heat. Now you've got to fry these until they're brown on both sides and because got you got thin them out, uh, they will fry totally done in a, about five minutes or less. Now while I'm doing that, I'm going to take a big lemon and boy is this a big lemon. <laughs> Talk about your big Look lemon. This big lemon. I mean this thing is as big as a football and take that thing and cut it in half, and what you need to do is get the juice of one half a lemon. So I'm going to juice that right now. Just squeeze it all out. And what you may want to do is take the other half and slice it real thin to put it on top of your chicken as a final presentation. And also, we need to get ourselves about a quarter of a cup of just some kind of white wine. And what we're going to do is, is, as you know, a while ago we had on the stove a little bit of bouillon, a bouillon cube and a cup of water, and now to that we're going to add the quarter of a cup of wine and the lemon juice, which still has the seeds in it. Oh boy, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble if Johnson gets one of these seeds. Well, I thought I'd weeded them out there, but I hadn't. If I die, I die. In my haste to get it done in a hurry, all the seeds are right in there. Well, that's all right, only one or two went in, so that's okay. I think this is a little hot. I'm a little concerned about it. Yep, yeah, it is. It's too hot. I've got it turned. Okay. It's burning. <laughs> oh, no, how awful. It is. Where's oh, my... Oh, you just can't adjust this heat. Where is my... Wait a minute, here, here, here. I have put out a fine thing to put it on, and... Now what you got to do is take that off of there. It certainly has to be done. It certainly looks like it's done. Oh, what a disaster. I don't care. I just don't care. All right, take this and put it in there. And you're going to boil that down. Mmm, <laughs> that does look mm, good. All mm, that mm. burn part in yeah, there. Yeah, that charcoal is going to help charcoal build all the be real good. out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, with a little luck, maybe it won't hurt us. So anyway, now what you're going to do is boil all that down, and this is going to make a nice little sauce to pour on top of it once we, once we have it on the platter, which mm -hmm. I once upon a time had the platter. Oh, I know. I put it in the refrigerator. Well, with the can I left, get it out No, it's you? got the leftover chicken oh, on it. Oh, how gross. Well, let me get you another one. I, I just need something to put this on. And then what you do is you just boil that down, render it down to little or nothing, and it makes a real fine sauce to put on top. And that's all I can do for right now. Well, and as I said, if you wanted to, you could take the other half of the lemon and do real thin slices like I'm not doing. <laughs> real thin slices. 
And you can arrange that with your chicken when you serve it with a little sauce on top of it and everything, just a real thin. You know, some days it just doesn't pay to get up, does it? Well, this, this recipe turned out so gorgeous at home yesterday, and it's so disgusting today that I just wish I could leave. But well, I you know what happens? Four more minutes at least. Our stove, let's face it, we don't have enough power coming to our stove because we, we don't have enough power in here in the wall. Well, we'll just have and to sometimes eat parts it's hard to adjust the temperature. Well, it did get up there. And you just there's just no shortcuts. You've got to keep boiling that stuff real hard and heavy well, until it just gets down to where it's supposed to be. It'll evaporate here in a minute. Uh, the recipe. Oh, we need okay. To yes, we ought to go to the signifying recipe. Signifying to us for the recipe. Well, throw it up there. The chicken piccata sent in by Elaine Tucker of Cantonsville, Maryland. Yeah, calls for four pieces of boneless chicken breast fillets, one and a half cups of fresh bread crumbs, salt and pepper to taste, one egg beaten with teaspoon of milk, or a couple, two tablespoons of butter, large lemon half, quarter of a cup of white wine, and chicken bouillon cube dissolved in a half a cup of hot water. And uh, let's see, the scalloped potatoes with the cottage cheese. I can hardly read from here. A cup of thinly sliced uh, potatoes, raw potatoes, one cup of cottage cheese, a half cup of uh, butter, or half tablespoon, thank you, of butter, half a cup of milk, and salt and pepper to taste. And that's... And some glasses if you got them. Yes. It would be real good if, if you I'll had a pair of glasses morning, to read this recipe <laughs> with. Well, I'm going to take this lovely chicken I've prepared. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to try and put the best side up if I can. Well, that's I just can't believe this. This was such a beautiful thing yesterday. Look at it. Just the stove. <laughs> just ruined it. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, let, perhaps after I arrange my wedges, <laughs> it'll look a whole lot better. <laughs> now you could use these, yes, you could use these to cover up assorted burn parts if you want to, and your people will never know. <laughs> anyway, I'm still waiting for this mess to stop doing whatever it's going to do. But this is wonderful. It really, it is. I had it yesterday evening for dinner. It's some of the finest chicken I've had in a long time. Oh, it time. does look good. You know, Larry, today is a very important day on our show. Is it really now? Well, you know, we have been talking for some time about our lovely Miss Witch. Oh, yes, yes, and yes. And I'm happy to announce uh -huh. that the blessed arrivals is have it, occurred. Is it here? Yes. And we now want her to fly in. Now, she, she's not giving us a recipe today, but there she is. <laughs> oh, oh I no. There's a whole bevy of witches. Isn't oh, she? she's had twin witches. And this little one's kind of drooping a uh -huh. little bit. Well, you know, they, underneath of her. they'll have to go a little while before they open their, <laughs> open their eyes up. <laughs> there they are, our, our lovely witches. <laughs> and this, before they open and, their eyes. And of course, we would love for you to write in and, and name our baby witches. So if you would uh, <laughs> write us a name for these baby witches, we'd appreciate it. Good heavens. <laughs> The little ones uh, oh, fly just as they're fast very as frisky. the mama one, don't They're they? very frisky. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just go on over and, I believe and we're try ready. this Let mess? Me. I'm tired of waiting for this sauce. I'm going home. Well, I want some of the sauce now. Oh, do you? Yeah, don't be cheating me now on the sauce. All kinds of terrible charcoal-looking stuff in it. Who would want to eat something like that? <laughs> the same people who would want to eat this mess. I mean, I got out well, of Well, if that's what you food. want, that's what you're going to get. Yes, indeed, it's just real pretty. <laughs> you can tell Harold's back from all the cackling in the background. I just burned myself severely about the head and shoulders over here. Oh. What about your head and shoulders? Oh, about the head and shoulders, all right. Well, let me give you some of this marvelous chicken. I better give him one with the least amount of burn on it. We'll never hear the end of it. Let me have some of that quick. <laughs> <laughs> have some real quick. Laban, these are raw. Oh, they haven't cooked. They have not cooked. They're totally raw. Nuts. Oh, well. Bye. What a disgusting day. <laughs> <laughs>